Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain how to make citations easier when you are working with Word documents. This video will help you to save much more of your time when you are writing your thesis or articles for your graduate and undergraduate programs. So now I will show you how to download the software and install it and how to merge that one with Word file. So to make the steps much more easier, I put the links in the description. So you just go there and click the link, then you will see the screen like I showed in the video. So once you download the software, just exactly follow the steps what I am showing in the screen. It will help you to make your installation much more easier. So once you install the software, you can see your screen like what I showed in the display. It will show you the screen and it will ask you to do some steps. In the first step, you have to use your university email or personal email to register the software. When you use the email, if it is possible, just use the email address what you have given for your article publications. For example, if you are a graduate student, you might have some publications in your research. So when you give those kind of email address that will help you to show your articles in the database. For example, if you want to cite your own paper for your continuous paper writing and that will be much more helpful and it will make the self citations much more easier. So once you completed the steps, you have to go to the tools option to install MS Word plugin options and check whether it is installed or not. If you don't see any installation, just a simple selection will help you to add the software to your Word file. So you just follow the steps what I have showed in the video that will help you to add the MS Word plugin to your Word file. So now once you got everything proper, now you are ready to use the tool in your Word file. Once your Word document is ready, then you just go to Reference tab options. So once you click the Reference tab option, you can see Insert Citations. So once you click that one, it will go to the Direct tool. So there you have to go All Documents and add your files what you supposed to add as a citations. Here I have a 4 example PDF files, then I am going to use them to make a citations. So you can see like as we just displayed all the four documents, it will show like what kind of document it is. It's either journal or like uh, what is the journal name and the abstract and authors and publishers and URL everything. It will show like a complete details about the topic you uploaded here. So that will help you to choose either you are working with a journal document or books or like a conference proceedings. So these informations will help you to choose properly like a what kind of documents you are working with and then using these details you can make a citations much more easier. So now I just create four lines for a four papers. It is just empty content. I just want to show how I am going to make a four citation in a four different lines. Just you see, I just want to cite my first paper in the first line and the second paper in the second line and I do the same procedure for other two papers also. So first I just go to reference tab and click insert citation option. Then I just go to the tool. Here you can select any paper. You can choose randomly or you can choose like a one by one. So you can choose any options but for my own convenience I am going to select the papers simultaneously rather than in a random way. 
So I am just going to make all four citations. Just follow the same steps and do it. Now we cited all the four documents but we want to show them in the end of the document because that is the main part here. So once you cite all the documents in your working paragraphs you should show them in the reference section. These are the options when you want to change your citation styles. You can easily change but this one I will show very clearly in the final part that will make much more easier. Now I am just showing some examples how the citation styles are changing when you are changing the citation format. The main important part what kind of journal or reports you are working with. Either you are working with the different kinds of journal, all the different kinds of journal they have a different format for citations. So that is very important when you make a citation styles. So that one I will show you in the final part. Once you click the insert bibliography options, it will automatically add all the four articles into your reference section. Just to see, even you delete and you can add. It is like much more easier. You can add whenever you want and you can remove whenever you want. So just to see. Anywhere you can change the citation and it will completely change the citation styles in the reference. For example before we used to have the numbers but now there is no numbers. So which means when you are changing the citations formats everything will automatically change. So this will help you to understand like uh, how you can you know see different kinds of format and uh, it will help you to choose your own citation style. So you just follow the same steps what I showed here and maybe it will be help, helpful for you like until now. So here if you see there is a Procida engineering which means it's a conference paper but unfortunately I used this as a journal. I didn't change in the tool this to a conference paper. Now just to go and check whether we use this document as a journal or word. So when you make like those kind of mistake you just simply remove the you know paper and then you just change something. Here I am going to select conference proceedings. Once you select that option just cite that paper. So it will automatically update into the conference paper. So this kind of flexibility you can get when you are working with this software. So you can see you can delete any file and you just refresh it and you will just get the papers in the reference what you cited inside your content. So this kind of things will be more useful and more time saving actually. And the tool it also has some flexibility to manually add the paper details. For example you don't have any PDF file but you know the information like what is the uh, journal title and what is the author names and when it published and what is the volume and whether it's conference or journal. So those kind of things is enough to make some citation manually. Just to follow some example like I just used from some PDF file and if you have some you know details randomly and you can use it and you can make a citation using the following step.
and the good thing about this option once you add the known information and if you just simply right click and update the file if the software finds some relevant publications in the website it will automatically update that as a research paper see you can see like it updated into some new detail so once you add this one into a paper you can see complete new information Now I'm going to show you how to download new citation styles and change the citation styles according to your needs. But I want to change into other style. In that case, you can see there are some installed options. In case if you want to choose another styles, you can go to get more style option and you can search and you can install it, download and install it. For example, here I'm downloading computational material science and I'm installing. Once you completed the installation, it will show you in the installed option. You just simply click use this style and click done. So the complete reference sections will be updated to that particular information. So this kind of freedom will save you much more time rather than you change the citations manually. Hope these videos help you to save some time if you are writing your you know research paper or any report or anything. Just hope to see you in the next video. Have a nice time. Thank you.